everyone. How are you? Um, so nice of you to come all the way to Brisbane and join me in my office. Um, unfortunately, as you know, I'm not there with you this morning and um, that was not a decision that I uh, could make myself, unfortunately. We're in the middle of an allocation of a $4 billion tender process and a whole range of issues that you don't want to hear about. Incredibly boring. So I was so looking forward to getting out there this morning and I've sent the very best person I could find to replace me. He will be far more dynamic and far more charismatic than I am. And that's Jean. And I just want to say thank you, Jean, for flying out on your own. Uh, I know that late yesterday afternoon when it was determined that I wouldn't be able to make the trip, um, the thought of Jean having to fly in a light plane was actually making him feel a bit ill. And then uh, sending him out to the wilds of Gundawindi with uh, no accompaniment was also a little bit daunting. So thanks, Jean. I know you'll impress everyone this morning. And more importantly, I know everyone will look after you and appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to go out there. Thanks, Sherilyn, for inviting uh, both of us to be part of your program that you're initiating at the high school. Uh, it sounds like it's a very exciting initiative and we all know that you have a fetish about boys, little boys, big boys. Uh, you're even writing a PhD, I think, on boys now and somehow trying to convince everyone that you're relating it to education. So we all look forward to that final document that you're writing about boys in education. Um, all of you know I have uh, Bridie who has turned 14 in the last couple of weeks. I personally think that she could write a PhD on boys at the moment. So, um, Sherilyn, if you need any tips, uh, I'm sure she's happy to help out with some. Now, on a serious note, uh, just wanted to say what I was going to speak to you about today was going to be about uh, building communities, looking at the role of the school in building communities, and in particular, the role of you as parents and partners in communities about how you can help value add to education. So I know I'm preaching to the converted and I know at this point in time, you're all curled up in fetal position saying, thank God she didn't come. It sounds like it was going to be a very boring speech. But I knew that uh, someone like Mac Knight was going to be in the audience and I thought I'd raise the intellectual bar, Mac. Um, seems to me most of the time, when we're at the beach, we uh, engage in a whole lot of trivial conversation. So I was just going to prove to you that I did actually work for a living in something that was important. Uh, I have to say I love my new job working for the Commonwealth Department of Education, Employment and Workplace Relations. For those of you who don't know, I actually have five ministers that I work with, including the Deputy Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. The other minister is Minister O'Connor, Brendan O'Connor, who's the Workplace Relations Minister. Also have Maxine McHugh with Early Childhood. Uh, the Minister for Youth, Kate Ellis. And also the Minister for Social Inclusion, Ursula Stevens. So it's a very busy portfolio. It's a really exciting portfolio. And as you all know, I love being my own boss. So being the Queensland State Manager is great for me. It means I'm away from Canberra and all the people who make decisions normally. But obviously I don't get to control my own agenda, which is why I'm sitting here in the, my office in Brisbane and you're all out at Gundawindi. And I've missed um, what I think would have been a fantastic occasion. Of course, you all have major credit points now because I have to come back out. And... Uh, Gene, I've told Gene that he uh, is an absolute champion and I certainly um, hope that in some way uh, I can repay him for the favour that he's doing me this morning. Anyway, look, have a great day and uh, it's pouring rain here in Brisbane and hopefully you're all getting some out there as well. And I promise I'll come back and, you know, give you the fully um, thought out version of communities, leadership, the role of schools and your role as partners. And uh, we might need an hour or so, though, I think. Anyway, enjoy today, and I look forward to seeing you before Malula Bar next year, everyone. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.